Let me ask you something. Imagine a world where George W. Bush, or God forbid, President Trump, commissioned their official presidential portrait to be immortalized by a white artist who was made famous by painting portraits of white women decapitating black women and holding up their severed heads. Now switch the situation and come back to the reality that President Obama actually did this, and no one seems to have a problem with it. I'm Ben Davies, this is Pure Hollywood. Kinde Wiley, the man in question who did Barack Obama and Michelle Obama's paintings, was asked to clarify what these really dramatic and horrific images actually were about. He told New York Times Magazine, quote, It's sort of a play on the kill Whitey thing, unquote. <sighs> Glad he set the record straight. But don't worry, I'm sure this was a one-time deal. I mean, artists do spend months and months and months on each one of these images meticulously brushing each stroke on the canvas. It's not like a photograph that you can mess up one time, right? No, he actually did do other paintings exactly like this one, depicting black women literally severing the heads off of white women and holding them up. On a lighter note, the graphic and racist depictions that this artist had put out there for the public, who is now going to be immortalized because he did the official presidential portrait for Barack Obama, at least he did include some very odd elements to this painting that we can all laugh at and kind of wonder about. Including random sperm-like images strung throughout this weird painting that may or may not have actually been intended to be actual sperm. And Obama clearly looking like he has a sixth finger on his hand. Hello, my name is Antigua Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Princess Bride, anyone? Ed? No? Okay. And like I said, this is not a photograph, this is a painting. Literally every stroke is a conscious, calculated effort. So in the end, we can still laugh at some of this and continue to give a pass to people who are openly racist, as long as they are racist towards the right people. I'm Ben Davies, this is Pure Hollywood. And another fantastic news, you can now download the Rebel app and take me with you wherever you go to get exclusive content in the entire Rebel lineup.